but what happened, you know, with the trailer? Uh, I was driving down the road, <clears throat> and I heard something back there, some kind of rattling. And I looked back, and I said, oh, it just must be the... thought I was on a rough patch of road or something. <clears throat> and then, because... You know that? That's what it sounded like. Because I hear that sound all the time, these rattles and things. It's a pretty rattly, rickety kind of sounding boat. And I said, eh. And once I got onto a smoother patch of highway, it, it just went away. Just as I was coming down that hill toward Blue Creek that you've seen me film before, bam! Just the wheels popped, one of the wheels popped off the starboard, starboard tire, the right hand tire. Uh, you know, I don't know if it, it didn't have enough grease or the, or the right type of grease. Typically, or some point during the spring, I'll disassemble this whole unit, repack the bearings, all that kind of stuff, and go on another year, uh, you know, or, or even a year or two like that. Um, but as I was going to be building a new power head for the boat, I'd get all that maintenance done then, which would try to get it all done before the new moon of May, which would have been this month. First of all, let's be mature here, guys. This is gonna, you know, a lot of people run these trailers, a lot of people love these trailers, and here I am gonna disagree with that, and I'm gonna take an opposing view <clears throat> on using these trailers. And a lot of people get mad. That's how it is on YouTube. A lot of, quite frankly, a lot of immaturity on YouTube where somebody loves something, let's say you love you know, 45 caliber ACP and somebody gets and says, oh, it's not really all that great a rifle. The people just get all mad and start, you know, want to troll and flame war. So I don't want any of that in the comments. If you're just arguing because you're disagreeing, you're going to get deleted. Sorry, guys. I got to be strict on that. This video is going to be the last of a series of videos I've done on this Harbor Freight boat trailer. A lot of people out there were running lightweight boats like John boats and canoes and kayaks. And they're looking for a lightweight trailer and I bought this trailer with that in mind. The Harbor Freight Boat Trailer series of videos is my most viewed videos because this is a, something that people want. And uh, it's a nice little piece of kit. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. The truth be told is it has basically run its course. Whether it be my fault, whether it be the design fault, whatever, I don't really care. Trust me, the thing is I'm, it's, I'm done with it. Okay, I have to top off the grease in my mud motor every time I go out with a squirt of two of grease in it. So I know about grease and things like that. I went a whole year without putting grease in it and it runs fine and I put new grease in it. Uh, I generally will take it a loose and sort of clean it out and put fresh grease in it and every time I go out do that now. I've only heard of one bearing failing in these mud motors and that was just a defective bearing had nothing to do with user error or anything. I'm thinking, well, there's no way that this little trailer is <laughs> having more pressure put on it than my mud motor that's propelling me through a medium that's 800 times as dense as air and producing way more heat than these tires here are doing. This whole idea that you know, I gotta have the right te high temperature grease and all that, I don't buy it. Because when I'm putting my mud th motor through a a medium, again, 800 times as dense as air, I'm generating enough power to plane up over said medium to run at speed hauling 500 pounds, pushing 500 pounds, producing way more heat, and it has not failed, and yet this has. You know, I remember I told you how, that I had flipped this trailer one time just on the dirt road and, and, and just got in a ditch and at speed and it flipped. I kind of wonder, that's the same tire that got flipped. I kind of wonder if at that point I should have just replaced the bearings in there then. Turned freely enough and now here's the real thing. I'm going to be honest with you. When you look at the cost of the trailer, $399 as as of today, well as of yesterday, I checked that the price of this trailer on Harbor Freight. All the modifications and changes that I made to the trailer and the amount of money I put into it, it's not a good deal. People take these trailers and say these tires are too small. They have to spin too fast at highway speeds, makes a lot more heat. Okay, great. So they say go up to 12 inch tire. You just added $100 to the trailer. Well, this $399 trailer is now $499. Is that a good deal? Okay, maybe. The bunks that come with it are junk, whatever. They don't really distribute the weight over the most of the whole enough, so you're gonna have to modify the bunks. Take a couple of years to figure out the bunk layout. Actually, and I was about to go through another revision on the bunks 
tells you that it's just not adequate for what you needed to do, right? If you're having to make all these changes to. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 new bunk brackets. So about $50 just in $50 in bolts, brackets, lumber, carpet, staples, glue, all that stuff just to get the bunks in halfway decent order. So all of a sudden this $399 trailer was $499 with the with the wheels and if you if you upgrade it with the wheels plus another $50 and I had to buy a winch which is another $20 the wheels the winch the bunks brackets bolts carpet lumber it ended up being about a 500 it would have total cost that's not counting the shipping to get all this stuff here it would have been about like $580 well I just went down to Academy Sports and they have a trailer from McLean which is actually a manufacturer in Texas and that trailer plus taxes I can just go pick it up right now which is what I plan to do $543.91 and it's a better made trailer it's galvanized aluminum not just painted steel this steel is going to eventually rust out guys I'm sorry uh, it's steel it's going to rust and it's fairly thin walled steel at that <laughs> another problem I had with those original bunks because they so bad it, the back brace here began to buckle under the weight and things so I had to I had to do something because that buckle was going to break and crack and split have I gotten my money's worth out of this trailer yes I would say so I bought it when did I buy this thing 2014 now it's 2017 three years for three hundred dollars three hundred ninety nine dollars for the base cost so what am I gonna do with this thing I'm getting rid of it a lot of people say well you can get a new a new spindle and ank and uh, axle for it well if I got a new spindle I gotta pay for that if I got if I upgraded it to 12 inch wheels I guess I could use these hubs if you had a 12 inch wheel that had a four bolt. If I couldn't find a 12 inch wheel with four bolts, that means I'd have to upgrade the hubs as well, which would mean five bolts, pay for the hubs, pay for the races, pay for the bearings, all that. So you're basically talking about completely buying a new bottom end for the trailer. The amount of money you have in the trailer here, it starts not to look like a good deal. Consider I can buy a trailer that has all the components I want on it has the durability built in it that I'm looking for just from looking at the design and it only costs four hundred ninety nine dollars retail straight out I can just go pick it up right now that's my point with this so any of you who think I'm just bashing Harbor Freight boat trailers I'm not I'm just simply telling you the experience I've had with it and if you look at the past 10 videos that I've done on this you can see the entire story Whereas most of you who are watching this, well, you've seen all my Harbor Freight videos. So, um, you know, I just wanted to address that, get that off my, off my chest, and, um, and just to try to stave off any trolling negative comments. I need something more reliable, something more robust, and considering the money I have in the trailer, it would have cost me less money to just buy a better trailer in the first place. See ya.